Want totally passive dividend income? How about totally passive dividend income that grows all by itself? Interested in knowing about companies that are paying their shareholders even bigger dividends than they were before? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. What can I say? I love dividends. Dividends are the best and most passive form of income I've ever come across. Most income sources require you to work for them but not dividends. To get paid a dividend, you simply have to own shares in a company that's paying that dividend. It really is that easy. And this dividend income could keep coming in for years or even decades of your life. Not only that, many of the world's best businesses are increasing their dividends year in and year out, like clockwork. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about getting paid ever more money without lifting a finger. It's like Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. The only problem with that quote, inflation. Expenses keep going up, which means your income must continue to increase in order to keep pace. Growing dividends solve this problem. Today, I wanna to tell you about six dividend growth stocks that just increased their dividends. Ready? Let's dig in. The first dividend increase I wanna to highlight today is the one that came in from Abbott Laboratories, stock ticker ABT. Abbott Laboratories just increased its dividend by 8.5%. Gotta love it. Inflation in the US is running at somewhere around 7% and it's coming down. Meanwhile, Abbott Laboratories gives their shareholders an inflation busting 8.5% bump in their dividend income, keeping their purchasing power ahead of the game. Awesome. This is the 10th consecutive year in which the healthcare conglomerate has increased its dividend. Although it's only been a decade of dividend raises for the business in its current form, Abbott Laboratories is actually a dividend aristocrat. And that's because the company had been a consistent dividend increaser for many decades prior to spinning off its pharmaceutical arm, AbbVie Inc, stock ticker ABBV. Nonetheless, Abbott Laboratories has great dividend metrics. The five-year dividend growth rate is 12% which you can pair with the stock's current yield of 1.9%. With a payout ratio at only 39.2% based on adjusted EPS guidance for this fiscal year, we've got a healthy dividend poised for much more growth. This is one of my favorite dividend aristocrats, and I think it's moderately viable. Is it a back up the truck opportunity? No, I don't think so, but the stock fell by about 20% in 2022, and this drop in pricing has created a more acceptable valuation. To be honest, I rarely I rarely find this name to be viable, but I think it's a reasonable idea right now. The forward PE ratio based on that aforementioned guidance is 21.1. Not super low, but also not terribly high. The price to cash flow ratio at 18.8 .8 is decently below its own five year average of 23. I think it's worth considering slowly scaling into Abbott Laboratories, especially after the 8.5% dividend increase and 20% drop in pricing. Take a look at it. Next up, let's quickly discuss the dividend increase that was announced by Amgen Inc, stock ticker AMGN. Amgen just increased its dividend by 9.8%. Bam, another great business doing great business things. Amgen has been so reliable and so consistent for so many years. It's really remarkable. Shareholders must be very pleased by the way in which management continues to reward them with ever higher dividends. The biopharmaceutical company has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years. Not the longest 
most dividend growth track record out there, but Amgen's consistency is what catches my eye. The five-year dividend growth rate is 11.3%. The three-year dividend growth rate is 10.2%. And then we have this near 10% dividend raise here. A slight deceleration overall though, we can see that Amgen is raising that dividend by a high single digit to low double digit rate each year. With the stock yielding 3.2%, that's really more than enough dividend growth to make sense of things. Since the bail ratio is 48.5% based on adjusted earnings per share guidance, for this fiscal year, I suspect that Amgen will keep doing what it's been doing with the dividend. This stock has gone on a run, but a pullback could be a great chance to jump on it. Amgen's stock rose by about 16% in 2022. That's incredible performance. I mean, the S&P 500 was down by almost 20% last year. While that might be nice for current shareholders who are content to hold what they've got, what about those who are looking to buy more or get in for the very first time? Well, as is the case with Abbott Laboratories, I think Amgen is a reasonable idea. It's not as attractive as it was a year ago, but I don't see anything here to indicate a nosebleed valuation. We've got a price earnings ratio of 21, which is actually quite a bit below its own five-year average of 26. On the other hand, the price to cash flow ratio of 14.6 is noticeably higher than its own five-year average of 13.3. I'd like to see it cheaper, but I wouldn't be opposed to slowly stepping in and getting more aggressive on any forthcoming drops if they occur. Keep an eye on Amgen. I now wanna to bring to your attention the dividend increase that came courtesy of American Tower Corp, stock ticker AMT. American Tower just increased its dividend by 6.1%. Uh-oh, the first dividend increase I've mentioned today that hasn't kept up with inflation. Or has it? See, here's the thing about American Tower. It tends to increase its dividend multiple times per year because what's better than a dividend increase every year? many dividend increases every year. The dividend is actually 12.2% higher on a year over year basis, which is definitely beating inflation. The Cell Tower Real Estate Investment Trust has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years. The dividend is already higher heading into 2023, so we'll be looking at 13 consecutive years of dividend increases very soon. The 10 year dividend growth rate of 20.4% is very impressive. Although more recent year over year dividend growth rates have been in the low double digits, but with the stock yielding 3%, which is 110 basis points higher than its own five-year average. I'd say you're being compensated for the slowing dividend growth. Meantime, American Towers payout ratio is 64.7% based on midpoint adjusted funds from operations per share guidance for this fiscal year, which is actually a pretty healthy payout ratio for a REIT. This REIT is arguably a better way to invest in the telecom space than telecoms. Whereas the carriers have loaded up on debt and seen their shares perform miserably, this stock is up by about 175% over the last decade. And that's even after falling nearly 30% from its 52 week high. This REIT is running circles around the big telecom players, all while collecting rent from them. Not only that, but once the tower goes up, it's very easy to scale it and collect more rent from the same tower. Pretty sweet setup if you ask me. The valuation does look reasonable here. The forward price to adjusted funds from operations ratio is sitting at right about 22 for a REIT that has been growing this quickly. I don't find that to be a hard pill to swallow. After the 30% drop in pricing, American Tower looks very interesting. The fourth dividend increase I wanna go over today is the one that was announced by Broadcom Inc. Stock ticker AVGO. Broadcom just increased its dividend by 12.2%. Yet another inflation busting dividend increase from a wonderful business. Expenses are going up, we all know that. If your income can't keep up, that's a problem. But if your income is growing faster than inflation, especially if this income is totally passive, you're a happy camper. This marks the 14th consecutive year of dividend increases for the semiconductor and infrastructure software company. In some ways, Broadcom is a dream dividend growth stock. Now the dividend growth rate has clearly slowed. The 10 year dividend growth rate of 40.2% is amazing, but those heady days are likely over. Still, 12% dividend raises are enough to keep the needle moving, especially when you pair that with the stock's market beating yield of 3.3%. And with the payout ratio of 48.9%, based on full fiscal year 2022 adjusted EPS, Broadcom has the leeway necessary to continue increasing the dividend at a nice clip. In my humble opinion, this is one of the best opportunities for long-term dividend growth investors 
in the entire tech space. Broadcom is a wonderful business being run by a very skillful CEO. Shareholders continue to be richly rewarded with dividend increases and capital gains, all while the business gets bigger and better. It's hard to complain about anything here with Broadcom, except perhaps the debt load. We recently put out a full analysis and valuation video on Broadcom not long ago, estimating fair value for the entire business and nearly $600 per share. Shares are currently selling for about $560 each. If you're in the market for more tech exposure, you have to at least consider Broadcom. I now wanna to bring to your attention the dividend increase that was announced by Mid-America Apartment Communities, Inc., stock ticker MAA. Mid-America Apartment Communities just increased its dividend by 12%. Okay, so a 12% bump in your passive dividend income for doing nothing other than holding shares? Yeah, that's pretty great. But what's especially great in this case is that this is the second dividend increase this year for Mid-America Apartment Communities. The dividend was bumped up by 14.9% back in May. Now we're really talking. The Apartment Community Real Estate Investment Trust has increased its dividend for 13 consecutive years. Of course, the dividend is already bigger heading into 2023, so we're almost guaranteed to move up that record to 14 straight years. The REIT's 10-year dividend growth rate is 5.5%. We've obviously seen a very nice acceleration in dividend growth of late, propelled by rapidly rising rental rates across the Sunbelt markets in which the REIT owns and operates its apartment communities. The stock's yield of 3.6% pairs very nicely with this kind of dividend growth. And the payout ratio, even after the two big dividend raises this year, is 66.3%. That's based on fiscal year 2022 guidance for core funds from operations per share at the midpoint. The basic need for housing makes this a pretty compelling long-term idea and I see the stock as a fair deal. The multiples for this name are neither terribly high nor shockingly low. I'll give you a great example of this. The price to cash flow ratio is 18.3, and you're going to value a REIT based on cash flow or funds from operations. That's a decent multiple to compare. Its own five-year average is 19.9. So a current discount relative to that average, but this average has been artificially skewed by the stock really going nuts during 2021. Indeed, the stock's pricing has dropped by more than 30% from its 52-week high. It just wasn't a good idea to buy it way up there, but I think it's definitely worth considering now after that drop. Last but certainly not least, let's now go over the dividend increase that came by way of WEC Energy Group, Inc., stock ticker WEC. WEC Energy Group just increased its dividend by 7.2%. WEC Energy Group must have gotten the memo on inflation. This dividend raise is bang on in order to protect the purchasing power of shareholders. Of course, this is nothing new for WEC Energy Group. This is the 20th consecutive year of dividend increases for the electricity and natural gas utility company. Hard to live without electricity, right? Well, if you ask me, it's also hard to live without those juicy dividend increases. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 9.5% shows that utilities aren't always slow growth slugs. This utility has been pumping out serious growth alongside all of that energy. Meantime, you also get a solid market beating 3.3% yield here. And the payout ratio is 71.1% based on midpoint guidance for fiscal year 2022 earnings per share. A touch high, but not dangerously so. As such, I'd expect continued dividend growth in that 7% range. So this stock doesn't look cheap, but honestly, it never looks cheap. I've owned shares in this utility company for six years, and guess what? All I've been hearing over that time is how expensive the stock is. It looked expensive back when I bought it, yet a lot of the cheaper utility stocks have been total dogs over the same time frame. Look, you tend to get what you pay for, and this high quality utility deserves and gets a premium. The price earnings ratio of 21.5 is slightly lower than its own five year average of 22.6, like I said, premium. But it's outperformed anyway, despite the premium premium valuation. And I think there's a good chance that it continues to outperform. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about these dividend increases. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio which I call the Fire Fund generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell stock. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. 
So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time. Thank you.